what's going on uh, we'll get right to it today so what we're going to talk about is uh tremic or any manual transmission gear ratio what we're going to show you is understand the relationship between each gear this will help you make better choices when selecting a transmission any transmission the math applies to any gear ratio any transmission so all you need to know is one the gear ratios of the transmission two the simple math which i'm going to tell you how to do um, and then three do the calculations compare them and then make your decision based on what you really know most guys will try and subtract the differences of the gear ratios and that is not the way to do this so um, again, this is a great uh, little learning experience for you guys. We'll get right to it. The math is taking the uh, second gear ratio, dividing it into the first gear ratio. You will get a number um, that is a percent. So what we'll do is give you some actual numbers so you can understand the math better. So, um, for example, a Tremec 297 first has a second gear 2.1. So what you do to do the math is divide 2.1 divided by 2.97. And what that will do is give you the relationship between those two numbers, which means um, it will roughly uh, will give you a number of 0.8, which you move your decimal point over two places to get your percent. So 2.10 is 80% of the total, the total being 2.97. So if you subtract that from 100, Let's say you, you get 20%. Your difference is 20%. And what does that mean? Your first to second gear ratio relationship is a 20% change. Okay, so you proceed on for the other gears to get those numbers. And then what you'll end up doing is having a chart against your gear ratios. And this will give you uh, actual relationships. Um, you can make a better decision on your, on your transmission based on the information that you developed or you're going to see. If you can't do the math, just reference my um, chart and hopefully go back and listen to it. But this will apply to any transmission, any transmission. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, so you're finding the relationship between the two gears to understand what exactly they are. Are. So let's jump into the video. You'll see my chart. I got everything mapped out for you. Here's the chart we made up. So we have a Tremec 2.97 first gear ratio. We have a Get Trag factory, a BC stage three, and a Tremec 2.66 first gear ratio. So going from first to second is a 29.7% ratio. Going from second to third, it's a 30.47% ratio. Going from third to fourth, which is our one to one. So it's a slightly taller, it's 31.5% ratio. And then fourth gear to fifth gear is 20%. And then fifth gear to sixth gear is 21%. So those are actually shorter. So if you have a high horsepower car, you can step up those gears without noticing a drop off in power. Now, why Tremec built this one this way, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but I can tell you with the 410 rear gear setup, this ratio gets me to a 6,000 RPM in second gear, first to second. When I go into third, it drops down slightly to about 5,800 RPM. So I'm still well into my power band. But when I go from third to fourth, you can feel that longer ratio, that 31.5%. That drops me down to a 5,200 RPM. All in all, I think it works pretty well. Um, so if you want to look at the factory get track, where you're at a 366 first, a 243 second, a 169 third, a 132 fourth, and one to one is in fifth gear. These are all relatively short, and in fact, they become shorter um, with the initial one being 33.6%, a little bit longer, over 3%, longer than the first gear in the Tremec. Second gear is almost about the same at a 30.45% versus the Tremec 30.47. 
And then you can see where it gets to be a shorter ratio here at a 21.89%. So this is keeping your RPMs up, way up in the power band. Uh, fourth to fifth is a 24.24% uh, ratio, um, the relationship. So still pretty tight. And then your fifth gear going to sixth gear is much taller and it kind of drops like it's into an overdrive. So that becomes a 35% change. On the BC Stage 3, a little bit different where because he did make some changes with the 346 first, 229 second, and 161 third. Slightly different. 126 fourth, a one to one. 1.1, excuse me, on fifth, which should be your one to one, and six is point one. So his first and second is 31.8 percent relationship. So that's that's the difference between the two. Going from second to third is 29.69, which is very close to the get track and the tremec. But he also keeps it tight, just like the get track. Um, from third to fourth, it's a 21.73% difference. And then very short from fourth to fifth gear, um, that's 12.69% uh, difference in ratio. And then you drop way down going to sixth gear, um, which becomes a 44.54%. Now, when you look at the Tremec, um, 2.66, which seems to be pretty popular among a lot of race guys. First gear, uh, again, about the same as Get Track BC Stage 3, 33.1. Second to third is uh, about 27%. And then it stays pretty tight, third to fourth, 23%. So that's keeping your R's up. Likewise, you're a 20% change from fourth to fifth. So um, and then fifth to six, it's also a about a 21% change. So this is really optimum. Um, if you're looking to, you know, race your car. So keep in mind though, you're gonna have to keep your gear ratio in the back, either 410 or 430. And the difference between a 410 and 430 is about 5%. There's about 5% difference. And just understand in your final gear ratio, that changes your your drive shaft rotation from 4.1 time revolutions per every one revolution of the rear tire to a 4.3 times um, drive shaft revolution per every one rotation of the tire. So again, this appears to me to uh, you know is the ideal transmission. Um, for all out racing or even even just a, a street car, keeping those gear ratios and changes very, very tight throughout the uh, gear change. So, hope, so hopefully this video helps you guys out in your choices. Um, if you can't do the calculation, just um, come back to this video, snap, um, you know, snap shoot it, and uh, you know you'll have that little graph, and it's a great. A great reference so hey guys that's um that wraps everything up for this video i hope it's helpful when you're making your choices on a transmission when you're going from a get track to a tremec or any other transmission you can apply that math for any transmission and to understand the relationship between the gears so hope you liked the video again hit like helps me out um like and subscribe guys uh thanks and y'all have a great day take care